Good morning, Todd Warren here a little after 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning with a quick video update on severe weather possibilities across the Oracle text today. As, uh, as of right now, as you can see here, we do have an enhanced risk according to the Storm Prediction Center for pretty much all of the Oracle text. Would not be surprised if we see some moderate on this map, some red, before it's all said and done, especially for uh, perhaps uh, southwest Arkansas, maybe a little bit of north uh, east Texas and north west louisiana before it's all said and done break down the uh, different threats that we're going to be looking at here during the course of the day and this is the from the outlook from the storm prediction center you can see that uh, all of us have uh, an equal tornado risk for the most part uh, there is a possibility for a few strong tornadoes especially across southwest arkansas uh, later on this afternoon uh, another more widespread threat probably will be wind and you can see in this area of purple that's where the uh, Storm Prediction Center indicates that 45% chance within basically 25 miles of your location that will have wind damage. All right, so that kind of shows you that we are looking at a, a pretty good wind threat across the region today. As we mentioned yesterday, that would be the biggest concern. And also looking at a, the potential for some decent hail. And you can see that does include a small part of northwest Louisiana, northeast Texas, as well as southwest Arkansas heading through the latter stages of the afternoon into the evening hours. This is what's going on right now. As we are, as you, if you've looked outside, you can see the sunshine on days like today. We do not like sun. And uh, you can see the uh, thunderstorms that are ongoing now off to our west. Uh, this is the activity which is going to be spreading its way into our region later on this afternoon. You can start to see a little bit of development down to the south. And that is something that uh, we will probably see <clears throat> continue to strengthen as we go through the uh, latter stages of the morning and into the afternoon. So what's going to happen? Here's a look at a couple of models. First of all, this is the high resolution rapid refresh model uh, taking you through the uh, daytime hours today. And you can see that as we move forward, uh, we will see again that line get closer to us. Notice the pop up showers, perhaps a few thunderstorms early afternoon. We could begin to see a few issues in a few isolated locations. But the main event will wait until late this afternoon and this evening. You can see that line making its way into the northwestern edge of the area. Keep that time in mind, 5, 6 o'clock, okay? And then moving the HR model forward to where it ends, you can see that <clears throat> activity would move into the heart of the Arkletex during the evening hour. So this particular run of the HR model, which comes in every hour, uh, shows, again, late afternoon through the evening hours is when we would see the worst of the thunderstorm activity across the Arkletex. Now, as far as the uh, as Futurecast is concerned, it has come in line and slowed down and is, is agreeing with other models better now. Uh, you can see that uh, it does show the pop-up uh, activity uh, here heading into the early part of the afternoon. Notice some of these cells showing a little bit of an intensity, so we'll have to keep an eye on those. Uh, but again, even with Futurecast, the main event will hold off until late this afternoon into the evening hours. You can see by 6 o'clock it is a little bit faster, but does show the activity again late this afternoon, moving into the northwestern sections of the area, worst possible time, and then it, it continues to slide its way southward across the rest of the Arkletex uh, during the evening hours. It does show a little bit of a decrease, which may be a bit overdone, uh, but nonetheless kind of gives you a sense of the timing of things, and then we would see things shift to the east as we move past the overnight hours with perhaps some redevelopment possible by uh, Sunday morning. So that's uh, pretty much the scenario. Again, uh, if you're just uh, tuning in for the first time watching this, uh, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, just to kind of review, uh, we do have an enhanced risk for severe weather for pretty much all of the Arkletex. Quite possible we will see a moderate risk uh, or a four on that five, one to five scale for especially southwest Arkansas, maybe a little bit of northwest Louisiana and east Texas later on today. It really depends on uh, how much activity might try to develop out ahead of the main line. As wind will be the biggest concern, a few strong tornadoes also will be possible. Large hail of possibility, as well as, uh, uh, again, some very, very heavy rain across the Arkletex. So that's what we're looking at right now. Stay tuned to ArkletexHomepage.com as we'll continue with uh, updates on the developing weather situation throughout the day.